President Mnangagwa said last night that he did not rig the harmonized elections in August and that he had put in a lot of effort over the previous five years to win on merit. He was addressing at a banquet for business executives to celebrate his victory in the synchronized general elections held in August. The government is in place on merit, the president claimed, just like business executives. I'm speaking to those who understand that they were elected, not chosen, for their positions. You congratulate me on being elected, but you never ask if we used foul play. We did not rig, I can promise everyone who has that suspicion. Like you, we have achieved our position entirely through merit. The president stated. When asked about his future plans, President Umingagwa stated that the Second Republic will keep enacting pro-business laws to create an atmosphere that would encourage more production, while also significantly lowering the cost of doing business. The President of State and Government stated that in order to ensure that the present increase in production is sustained, his administration would continue to bring sector-specific initiatives. The Second Republic's policies have already improved the business climate of the nation. Today, domestically produced items take up more than 85% of the shelf space in supermarkets. While foreign businesses continue to be drawn to Zimbabwe. As a result, between January and August of this year, export earnings increased by 6, 1% to US dollar 4, 48 billion from 4 US dollars. 42 billion realized during the same period last year. According to President Mnangagwa, his government is on track to fulfill Zimbabweans' ambitions for better living circumstances and development that leaves no one and no place behind. In order to increase output and capacity as well as the general competitiveness of our local sectors, he stated, My administration will continue to offer sector-specific incentives. The Second Republic's pro-business policies and the steadily improving business environment continue to reflect this. I am happy to notice the good trajectory being recorded across all sectors of the economy. With increase in output and productivity, capacity utilization, as well as exports, the economist said. Given the desire of many citizens to take part in national progress, President Umingagwa praised Zimbabweans for adopting the slogan, Nika Inovakwa Naveen Veo slash Elizwi Lakawa and Gabinakazi below. In light of this, the president urged companies that have not yet regularized their activities to do so in order to support the growth of the country. He claimed that he has already tasked the pertinent departments with overseeing the smooth regularization process. President Umingagwa noted that initiatives to integrate small and medium-sized businesses into the national economy are under progress. Also, there is an increase in assistance for many more micro, small, and medium-sized firms MSMEs to integrate into the mainstream economy. All of our small enterprises must be registered, and the relevant government agencies have been instructed to offer thorough facilitation to lower the costs and streamline registration procedures. The president praised the increased participation of people in various sectors such as agriculture, mining, and tourism. According to him, initiatives are also being carried out to update other crucial economic enablers like the power supply. President Mnangagwa stated that the Second Republic would continue to support private sector-led growth as a way to ensure Zimbabwe's long-term prosperity. Additionally, he said that the modernization of crucial infrastructure like as the Bight Bridge border post, has eliminated bottlenecks and increased the country's ease of conducting business. The president praised the private sector for working with the government on infrastructure projects and reiterated that updating the necessary infrastructure remained a priority for the Second Republic. The North-South corridors and Zimbabwe's traders and exporters continue to rely on the Bight Bridge border post as their principal infrastructure. I am glad that bottlenecks that previously impeded the passage of goods and the traveling public have been eliminated by the modernization of the Bight Bridge border station. To further promote smooth trade, plans are in place to build a one-stop border post at Bight Bridge. Together with others, the modernization of the border crossings at Kairundu, Machapanda Forbes, and Plumtree will shortly start. Upgrading our road and rail networks is still a top goal going forward.
The progress of the Mbudzi Interchange project makes me happy. In anticipation of an overhaul and modernization of these important commerce and tourist routes, routine maintenance work has also started on the roads connecting Bight Bridge to the Victoria Falls and Harare to Kairundu. The Second Republic, according to President Umingagua, is attempting to enhance electricity production in addition to the recently operational Wang Units 7 and 8. The opening of Units 7 and 8 of the Wang Power Station, he added, was good, but the government is currently preoccupied with upgrading Units 1 through 6 of the Wang Power Station to boost the supply of power, in accordance with our Green Energy Plan. Independent power producers are simultaneously pursuing expanded power supply. As a result, I implore business stakeholders, especially those operating in high energy consumption subsectors, to explore complementary independent power generation. The President of State and Government thanked the business sector for hosting the dinner to congratulate him, and noted that it was proof of the positive working relationships between government and business. He remarked, I challenge us all to sustain our focus on growing, modernizing, and industrializing our country in this spirit of unity and oneness. President Umingagwa claimed that the effort to engage and re-engage the public was succeeding in benefiting the commercial sector by opening up new investment opportunities and expanding market access. In order to advance the debt and arrears clearing project, he added, my administration remains resolved to harness the present goodwill from the international community president of the Confederation of Zimbabwe Retailers. Dr. Denford Matashu congratulated President Umingagwa on his election victory and stated that the business community had faith in his ability to govern over the next five years. I am happy to congratulate you on your victory in the recently concluded harmonized elections. I have no doubt that you will deliver and lead Zimbabwe to the highest degree of economic development. As you have demonstrated in your previous tenure through your hard work, he said. Can Grow Trading's Ms. Zandal Nova added her voice to the discussion by stating that President Umingagwa has continued to maintain an environment that is favorable for commercial operations. Under the slogan, Zimbabwe is open for business, she remarked. We are here to enthusiastically extend our congratulations to our visionary leader who has made it possible for us to have the ideal operational circumstances to run profitable businesses. Ms. Sitsi Zukamanja, a representative of the Zimbabwe Construction Industry Association, stated that the construction industry is still committed to collaborating with the president and the government to achieve the objectives of the Second Republic particularly the implementation of the National Development Strategies 1 and 2. Vice Presidents Dr. Constantino Chiwenga and Kembo Mohadi, ministers, business leaders, legislators, and other government representatives all attended the President's Congrats Dinner.